was searching for an open door I was looking for a peace of mind It's a feeling that I tend to get Won't rest until I make it right Couldn't stand the thought of losing her Happiness in marriage is not something that just happens. A good marriage must be created. In the art of marriage, the little things are the big things. It's never being too old to hold hands. It's remembering to say I love you at least once a day. We were standing in the freezing rain. Honey, how could I forget? In the distance were the warning bells. It is forming a circle of love that gathers in the whole family. It is doing things for each other, not in the attitude of duty or sacrifice, but in the spirit of joy. It is a common search for the good and the beautiful. It is establishing a relationship in which the independence is equal, dependence is mutual, and the obligation is reciprocal. It is not only marrying the right partner, it is being the right partner. It is discovering what marriage can be at its best. <laughs> it is with confidence that I say when they met six years ago, neither thought they would have me, of all people, officiating their wedding. I'm sure the crowd would agree. But I also can say with confidence that they never have been more united in love than they are today. They're united as best friends, parents to Britain, and partners for life. <laughs> Rachel and Dan are blessed to have great role models. Both sets of parents have helped navigate each throughout the years. They have taught what it means to love and to be wonderful parents to Britain. Rachel and Dan have a strong foundation to have a successful marriage, thanks to their parents and grandparents. Today is the day they, as a couple, make the ultimate commitment to love, share, trust, and grow with one another. The feelings that they're stating publicly are the commitments that they held privately between them. They are proclaiming their love for, their trust in, and their loyalty to one another above all others. An excerpt from the poem from beginning to end. Now you shall say a few words that take you across the threshold of life. They are the things you'll never be quite the same between the two of you, for after these vows, you should say to this world, this is my husband, this is my wife. <laughs> I, Rachel, take you, Daniel. I, Daniel, take you, Rachel. To be my husband. To be my wife. I will share my life with yours. 
I will share my life with yours. Build our dreams together. Build our dreams together. Support you through times of trouble. Support you through times of trouble. And rejoice with you in times of happiness. Rejoice with you in times of happiness. I promise to give you. I promise to give to you. Respect, love, and loyalty. Respect, love, and loyalty. <laughs> through all the trials and triumphs. Of our lives together. Of our lives together. This commitment is made in love. Kept in faith. Lived in hope. It knew every day of our lives. It knew every day of our lives. Gracious God, spirit of life and love, we ask all blessings upon Rachel and Daniel in their life together. May they be blessed with patience to see them through times of tensions or conflict. May they be blessed with kindness to enable them to nurture and care for one another in times of pain or sorrow. May they be blessed with a spirit of play and joyfulness to enable them to slow down and enjoy the small things in the day today. And finally, may they be blessed with the knowledge of the ever flowing presence of love in the world, that they may be channels of this love to one another and to all whom they meet in their life's journey. Amen. Rachel and Dan will now go ahead and pour the sand into the vase and present their moms with their flowers. I uh, really appreciate everybody coming. And as you know, Sandy and I, about this day, we really didn't know if it was gonna come about, but it did happen. And they threw in a bonus. We got Britain. What a great bonus. May these rings symbolize through time, not only who we are as individuals, but as a couple. I, Rachel, give you Daniel. I, Daniel, give you Rachel. This ring as an eternal symbol of my love and commitment to you. This ring is an eternal symbol of my love and commitment to you. You both have consented to join together in the bond of matrimony and have pledged yourselves to each other. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no one separate. I am proud to say by the power vested in me in the state of Missouri, I pronounce you in front of your friends and family, husband and wife. You may seal your kiss with the revolve with a kiss. So. <laughs> <laughs> I take great pleasure in presenting for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Sweeney. What a beautiful bride you are, what a handsome groom you are. And we love you. We hope everything just goes all the way. I see the love you share, and I'm so happy that you found each other. I think you're perfect for each other. I think you're perfect parents. Joan and Joe, you did a great job with Dan. We're so happy to have him in the family. And I just wish you both a long, happy life together. Thank you. Love you.
Ignite my heart, my mind, your presence Makes me whole, inspired You set my brain on fire